Hi, uh, I'm Joseph Shamus. Uh, I'm co-owner of Gratitude Garden Farm here in Loxahatchee Groves, Florida. And uh, we built this farm, uh, I believe, in around 2014, 2015, we started building. And um, my wife and I have lived here ever since. Uh, we grow turmeric, uh, baby ginger, uh, medicinal mushrooms, gourmet mushrooms. And then we, we have a mango orchard, we grow banana tree, we have bananas, we grow all different, like 20, 30 different varieties of veggies. Um, we also grow uh, a lot of microgreens, a lot of medicinal foods. Uh, but our real um, specialty here on the farm is uh, mushrooms. And um, we have a very unique way of cultivating them as uh, we'll show you uh, future on in the, vid in the video. The reason uh, my wife and I started this farm and we called it Gratitude Garden uh, was because uh, about uh, in 2008, um, I was diagnosed with a uh, uh, you know, very dangerous uh, cancer um, and uh, it kind of changed my, my whole life from that point on. Everything that I, uh, my life prior to that was completely different. I changed the way I eat, I changed the way I live, I changed a lot of things about my life and uh, the farm was definitely one uh, big step in that direction also. So um, ever since 2004, 2005, uh, sorry, 2014, 2015, my wife and I have been actually like making a proper living farming and, and um, doing the things that we love to do. Uh, farming is hard work. It, uh, a lot of people have a romanticized vision of what farming really is. And it can be that, but it's a lot of hard work and a lot of time and a lot of blood, sweat and tears, like all businesses, but, but even harder because we've opened up businesses in the past and, and this one takes everything from you but it also fulfills de different parts of, of, of who I am and, and uh, that's why I love to do it and um, yeah it's just a wonderful experience if you can do it and make a living doing this and um, you know it's, it's a wonderful thing to be able to make a living doing what you love so we're very grateful for that okay so we are in one of our growing chambers uh, here it's a little bit cooler than the other rooms uh, and we grow different varieties in here that prefer those colder, weather, uh, colder climates. So here we have some blue oysters. Um, they're a beautiful mushroom, a great culinary mushroom. And um, this is how they start to pin. And these are almost ready to start blowing up, getting larger. And then they'll start getting larger and larger like this. And then they'll get even bigger. Um, so that's one of the varieties we grow in here. Uh, we also grow a black trumpet, which this will turn into a nice trumpet mushroom. And they grow out of these blocks. Um, and these are the blocks that we uh, make uh, ourselves and we inoculate ourselves with different strains of mushrooms. So this is a black trumpet. We also have the blue oyster in here. and. Uh, we also do some beach in here once in a while also. Um, so these are the colder climate rooms. And then we'll go show you uh, upstairs to another fruiting chamber where we have a couple of other medicinal and culinary varieties. Okay, so this is one of our other rooms. It's slightly higher. It's about eight, nine degrees warmer than our other room. And here we grow some of our medicinal varieties, such as lion's mane. Uh, we also grow reishi and turkey tail in here. Uh, but right now we're just growing uh, gourmets, such as lions. Uh, we also make our medicinal extracts from the lion's mane too. This, this mushroom is a wonderful mushroom for creating neurogenesis in the brain. Um, it's been studied extensively. Um, uh, it's been used in the Far East for, for many, many, many years. And just recently, we started actually doing uh, research. And uh, apparently, there's a lot of information on lion's mane and how it helps protect the myelin sheath in the brain. It helps with memory. Uh, it, it's supposed to stop the progression of, you know, uh, MS, Parkinson's, di uh, you know, any neuromuscular issues, ALS. MS, it's supposed to help with that. I, I don't think it's supposed to, it's not obviously not standalone, but it's supposed to help with 
the delaying the onset of, of those uh, diseases. There's a lot of research done on this. Um, if you are interested in the medicinal use of lion's mane, please do some research. And, um, you know, definitely there's a lot of info about it. Uh, we also grow... Uh, we also grow some other varieties in here, and uh, I'm going to pull up a Pio Pino for you. This mushroom right here is called a Pio Pino, or a black, black poplar mushroom, and that's a delicious mushroom. Um, it, it's very woody, it's, um, it's earthy and woody, it's really good in like stir fries, soups so this is more of a sterile room this is where so i don't want to really go in here right now but this is where we we do all our work our lab work and stuff so we we try to do as much of the process as possible from spawn where we actually create our own spawn inoculate it into uh blocks and then from there create you know fruit them out for the final product so we try to do every step of of the process as much as we possibly can and this is where we do it from from the lab and it's, uh, it's a newer addition to the farm. We're really, really excited about it. And it will really be able to increase our production and um, hopefully grow a lot more mushrooms. So. Okay, so here uh, Mateo and Caesar are harvesting some uh, turmeric. And I believe this one is the Indian yellow or Indira yellow variety. And um, it has a really nice... This is what you'll see in stores in regards to... Um, that curry, it's that yellow. It has a really wonderful scent to it. It's beautiful. It has that gorgeous turmeric smell. Perfect. Thanks for the little tour. Um, it was just a small little view of our farm. Uh, we have a lot of other sections to it. We have a food orchard. We grow bananas. We grow all sorts of goodies, um, microgreens. And uh, in here we have our eggplants, our tomatoes, and our peppers, our sweet peppers in here. And we do a lot of farmer's markets other than just mushrooms, but people definitely know us for our mushrooms and they love our veggies when we have, but um, you know, we do five farmer's markets. So we're at West Palm Beach Market, we're at Parkland Farmer's Market, we're at Delray Farmer's Market, um, we're also at uh, Palm Beach Gardens, um, and we also do Swank Farmer's Market in Loxahatchee. So we're five markets. Um, and uh, you can always find us out on the weekend, Saturdays and Sundays. So if you do want to come by, uh, come visit us at one of those markets, you'll definitely see us there. If you're interested in any of our products or our mushroom extractions, uh, we have a website called organicturmeric.com. We sell all our different, we have some rare varieties of turmeric, black turmeric, Thai turmeric, and we make products out of them also. So you can buy those products online and um, we ship them to you in a couple days. And um, yeah, it's from, it's, uh, it's wonderful to be able to make really powerful medicinal uh, foods and products from what we do. And we're able to share it with uh, all of you. So um, if you do want to grab some, and also our Instagram is Gratitude Garden Farm. Um, and our Facebook is uh, same thing, Gratitude Garden Farm. So um, thank you so much for the, for the trip. And uh, I was happy to take you on a small little journey today. Mm -hmm.